Hey, what's up everybody? It is Friday, July 28th. This is the weekly video update to review all the trades from the week. Got some new members on here, quite a few new members, so I wanted to go through and make sure you are aware of our new ebook that is currently out, The Trade Hackers Ultimate Playbook. You can get this on the website. Uh, standalone's 49 bucks. We put a ton of work into this, so it's worth a lot more than that. But um, or if you buy one of our courses on the site, we give you this to you for free. So check it out. It's an awesome guide. A lot of traders are just printing it out, keeping it on their desk while they're trading to, to reference. So good stuff. Uh, got a lot of good feedback on it. So keep the comments coming. And let's jump into this week's alerts. So starting with Monday, on the 24th so first trade we opened was in fxe and this is really just a directional play fxe has been on a tear to the upside so just looking at this from a contrarian standpoint if we take a look at the chart of F fxe you can see it's just had this massive run up and so we're just looking for a short-term pullback uh, it's going against us a little bit so far no big deal so just need some more downside to fxe to benefit that position Next trade was an iron condor that we closed out in corn. So we booked that for over 40% of max profit. Uh, these grains, you know, they were having huge moves there for a while. And now they're starting to get a little bit more range bound, uh, but still decent premium, still decent volatility to trade in the grain. So we've still got positions in soybeans and wheat, which I'll go over in a second, but now we are completely out of corn. Next trade was a, uh, a, an adjusting trade in SPY. So we had an iron condor. Price breached our upside break even. So we removed our put side. Uh, still holding the call side. We, we did not, as I state here in the comments, we did not uh, enter a new iron condor because the, the IV and SPY has just been absolutely horrendous. Now, uh, with the market being down the last couple days, we're starting to get a little bit of a pop. And, and so if it, if it gets up a little bit more, we'll, we'll enter another iron condor. But for now, we're just holding that call side. So we still have the call vertical and just waiting for a little bit of a down move, a little bit more of a down move in SPY to, uh, to get out of that as well. Next trade was an opening trade in XRT. So IV spike up, spiked up to IV percentile was up to, to the 80 level. So we sold a strangle in XRT. You see that's still very centered. Uh, looks like implied volatility has gone up a little bit since then even. Well, now it's at 74, but uh, still very centered. So we'll continue to monitor XRT. On the 26th, we did an adjusting rolling trade in XOP. So price had breached our upside break even. And so we needed to roll our puts up. So we wanted to roll our puts from 30 to 32, uh, but with only 23 days left in the August cycle. Remember, we wanna be out of these strangles, either close them or roll them when you get down to that 21 days to expiration because then that the gamma, the risk really starts to accelerate in those last few weeks of expiration. So we wanna roll that out to uh, September. So we not only rolled our puts up from 30 to 32, but we rolled the entire spread out to September. So if we take a look at XOP, it has uh, continued to move a little bit higher since then even. And so if we look at the Analyze tab, you can see Need some down movement in XOP to benefit there. Next trade was on the 28th, so no trades on the 27th, which was Thursday, yesterday. So a uh, trade this morning we did, and I sent it out in two separate alerts. So this was on our GLD calendar. We had the 117, one, uh, 117 put calendar, and we had the 119 call calendar. And so price breached to the upside. So we took our 117 put calendar, closed that out, and rolled it up to the 121 call calendar. So we now have the 120, uh, 121 call calendar and the 119 call calendar. 
Uh, so it's a double calendar. Now it's nice and centered. Now we need some acceleration of implied volatility and for GLD to stay in a, in a range for us to benefit there. And then lastly, today we took a trade in Facebook where we bought a butterfly. So even after uh, Facebook announced earnings a couple days ago, they still have, the, the implied volatility is still over 50, so right around 55 at this point of this recording. And so we're just looking for Facebook to kind of settle down in this range. And by doing that, we did a nice big wide butterfly. So we'll take this off for about, about 20 to 25% of the debit paid, which in this case was 631. So let's see a couple other positions that we also have on in the ES S&P futures. We've got this uh, put vertical, so looking for a down move there. And again, I keep repeating this, but we've we've got this on for short delta in our portfolio. Anytime you sell premium, you've got to protect yourself to the downside, and so that's what we've got here. Now, obviously, when the market has been in a, a grind higher for what seems like forever. You know, that short delta is going to hurt you. It's going to be a little bit of a drag on your portfolio, but you got to keep it in there. And if we get a little bit of a continuation of this down move, you can see the market's down, S&P's down almost nine today at this point, and maybe we can get some momentum and, and get some of that off as well. Soybeans, we're still in this iron condor, kind of hanging out on the lower end, but still well within its range. Need a little bit of a move up in soybeans to get out of that one for a profit. And same story with wheat. So next week we'll probably look to add another grain position uh, to get a little bit more centered, uh, widen our break evens. But same thing in wheat, need a little bit of an upside to get out of that one. DIA, we had this uh, iron condor and we took off the untested side. This thing will load. And so we're still holding the call side of this DIA iron condor. And so we're looking for a continuation down to benefit there. And again, that helps us add that short delta into the portfolio. And let's see, Qs, still got a strangle on in the QQQs. And still very centered, no profit or loss at this point. So we'll continue to watch that. RUT, we've got this calendar spread on. Uh, total risk on this is about 965. So we want about a 20% to 25% profit. So we're looking for about 180 to $200 profit on this one. We're at about 150 right now. So wait for a little more expansion in an IV to, to benefit that one. I mentioned XOP and I mentioned XRT. So last thing, I just want to go to the closed trades. We're having a really good uh, July. So haven't haven't booked a losing trade yet, which is pretty awesome. Um, so hopefully the trading continues. Hopefully we get a little bit more of this two-sided action, preferably to the downside in stocks. It's going to help our portfolio as well as spike implied volatility and give us some more opportunity to put on additional positions. Everybody have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.